Woodard is an online puzzle game created by a software engineer named Josh Waddle. He created this game for his partner to play. Since it was a hit with his family, he released it publicly. The game was made public October 2021 and it gained popularity two months later, giving it a huge following. What do you think about Woodard? Let me know in the comment section below. In today's video, we'll be looking at the game of Woodard. The game is rather simple to play. The purpose of the game is to guess a wood. A new wood is updated for the game every day. You have 6 chances to guess a 5 letter wood. When a wood is entered, the letters can have 1 or 3 markings. A green marking on a letter means that the letter is in the curry face of the wood. A yellow marking on a letter means that the letter is in the wrong face of the wood. A green marking on a letter means that the letter does not appear in the wood. If you fail to get the word after 6 chances, the answer is revealed. We are given statistics to show you how well you are playing the game. You can even share the results on Twitter without spoiling the word of the day. One thing to know is that the game uses the American spelling for words, even though the game has a UK domain. Another thing to know is that the letters can appear twice in the same word. By November 1st, only 90 people play it. It took over 2 months for 300,000 people to stop playing it. There were a few reasons it got so popular. The game only became popular in the first place when users were allowed to share the results on Twitter. It's also popular since you only get one word a day. This creates a certain level of stakes and tension without providing much stress. Also, everyone gets the same exact puzzle. This allows people to chat with one another to know if they got the answer. On January 31st, the game was acquired by the New York Times for at least $1 million. The New York Times has stated that the game will initially remain free, with no gameplay changes. With the help of Widow, the New York Times aimed to grow the digital subscription to at least $10 million by 2025. The game will appear alongside the crossword puzzles and spelling bee by the New York Times. Although Widow may be simple, it is also fun. The simple challenge of the game makes for an enjoyable time. Thus, I recommend you check out the game. Well everyone, this video is over now. If you like this video, then smash the like button, subscribe and turn on full notifications. Comment down below any video ideas you have. I'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.